Hello everyone, this is Nicholas Bianchetta. The purpose of this video is to show you how to generate a price volume chart for your stock. And we're going to use Yahoo Finance for this. So you want to start by going to finance.yahoo.com. And once you're here, you can type in your stock. I'm going to use Microsoft as an example. So you type in your stock ticker up here, select the correct one, and then if you scroll down, you'll see um, some information about your stock, and then you'll see the third option here says chart. You want to click that. And for the homework, it wants you to use the year to date time period, so you can select that option here. And next, we will um, we will add a couple different technical indicators to the chart. So the first one we want to use is just a simple moving average for the 10 day and the 50 day. So to do this, as you can see there, I clicked on indicators, select moving average, and you can adjust. Uh, we want to put 50 for one of them so we can keep this the same for now, but you'll see when we go back and do the 10 day, we'll adjust that. And I'll just keep the color the same, but if you want to change the color, you can do that as well. So we'll save that. And as you can see, it put in this purple line here, the 50 day moving average. And currently Microsoft is trading above that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the 10 day moving average. And we do that simply just by editing that there to put 10 and we'll change the color. Um, let's go with yellow. All right, so now you have both of those simple moving averages on the chart. And so the blue is gonna be your stock price. And you can see kind of the, the color key up here in the top left corner. Blue is the stock price. Purple is your 50 day moving average. The yellow is your 10 day simple moving average. And then below here, um, this is your volume that's in the chart already. So in addition to the simple moving averages, you want to add the relative strength index. So again, go to indicators. And it's a very commonly used um, technical indicator, and it's right here under RSI. So you want to select that. And you can keep the period to 14. Um, we want to change overbought to 70 and then oversold to 30. So you can click save and you'll see what it's done is it's added this section here on the bottom. And uh, in addition to that, um, if you want to add support and resistance lines, I know there's a lot going on in the chart here, but if you want to add support and resistance lines to the actual stock price here, um, you can do that by clicking on line. Ooh, I'm sorry, you're going to click on draw, actually. And then after you click on draw, this shows up here, and then you'll click on line. And for this, you want to do a horizontal line. And I'm just going to change the color just so it doesn't get confused with any of the other ones on there. Um, we can go ahead and go with, we can use this teal color. And so for the support line, Microsoft is, is not a very volatile stock. And so you can see there hasn't been um, too many changes as far as it really dipping down a lot and going back up. But I guess you could, you could put a horizontal line here to show that this is possibly a sign of, not that, you, you can see that it, Put a line there. Um, I clicked on the the volume, so it brought up that that window that you just saw there. But um, it added a line on this low point here, and so what it's showing is that it it bounced to there, and then it came back up. And then again over here, it it came back close to that price, and continued to go up from there. Um, so I guess that could be seen as a a level of support. Um, then if you want to change the color to do 
the sign of resistance, I'll make that red. You can go to a high point, um, which, which I'll use this. I see that it went slightly above it here, but I'll use this here and just you just simply click and it'll put a horizontal line there. And what that's showing is basically uh, Microsoft tried to go above that and, and didn't really do it. Um, we could use this line as well. But you see, again, it, it went close to that price. It got up to that price and then went back down. Um, and then once you have these technical indicators added to your stock chart, the, the nice thing about Yahoo Finance is you can extract the, the chart just by clicking this button here. So once you click that, you'll see this window that pops up and you want to select the option all the way to the right. That's going to allow you to download it. And if you can see here at the bottom of the screen, the chart automatically downloaded. And I will just show you, I'll pull it up for you so you can see what it looks like. But this will be a picture of your stock chart that you just created. And you can put that into a Word document or send it through an email or however, however you would like to um, send it to Professor Forrest.